because I, no. I don't think it's going anywhere. Short it. Short it. <laughs> Short it. <laughs> um, and now you had put an article up uh, about Steam having yeah. a little bit of competition. Um, who's doing that? Yeah, so it's Epic Games. These are the guys that bring us Fortnite, and I think they are like breaking records left and right for the amount of money they're making on Fortnite. I, I mean, it's crazy money they make. And so um, they were in the news a couple months ago when they said, we're skipping the Google Store, Google Play right. Store, and you have to come to our website to download Fortnite. And that was a big deal because you and I talked about, well, do you trust sites like that? And then there were all these phishing sites out there that were pretending to be Epic site and anything that had to do with Fortnite that you're installing on your Android outside of the Play Store was full of malware. So it was a big deal. We talked about that a couple podcasts ago, um, but I guess they've been so successful that with Fortnite that they want to create their own store, online storefront. This is not surprising to me, and it's actually kind of sad for Google. Because if they had put their foot down like the Apple Store does, they wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, now if they losing. just said, no, no, you have to use our, our website or nothing at all, right? And then you would have to go through crazy side-loading techniques. And you know what? If you really want something that bad that's not in the store then go ahead and do the crazy side loading and, and try to figure that out. Kind of like I was doing when I was jailbreaking iPhones back in the past. What? And, <laughs> <laughs> you know, back before I switched over to Android. But, you know, here's the, what's interesting about it. I think that they're going to give Steam a run for their money. It's all about splitting the revenue with the developer. I guess with Steam, it's a 70-30 split. So 70% right. of the proceeds go to the developer. With Epic, it's going to be 88% wow. stay with the developer. So, so it's an 88-12 split. So you're saying third-party game makers can give their game to Epic. It's not You're not talking about only things that Epic makes. No, it, it would be uh, you and I create a game and we could go to Steam and sell it and we'd make 70% of the proceeds or we could go to Epic and make 88% of the proceeds. So... That is a big deal. And then they're also saying uh, no required DRM for nice. the software that you put there. So, you know, it's it's something I want to watch and see what happens. Personally, I'm, you know, I, I'm concerned with the malware that has been targeting Epic. Um, but I hope that they have enough money and they're secure enough that perhaps they can make a go of it and give Steam a little bit of run of their money. I love Steam. I don't know. Are you on Steam, Dan? Um, briefly, yeah. Um, there were some games that I wanted to download. Um, I mean, it's been years since I've gone to the mall and purchased a game. You know, yeah, it's, that's right. it, we're, we're doing it on the cloud now, yeah? Yeah, exactly. And I can tell you, my son, he's on Steam and all of his buddies are on Steam. So if they're not playing on the PlayStation or his buddies have Xbox, so PlayStation or Xbox are the console, the big ones. Uh, th if they're not on those, then they're on Steam. Cool. And yeah, so Steam's making tons of money off the next generation. And I think Epic is also trying to zero in on it because who's playing Fortnite? Everybody, but yeah. I'm sure a good portion of it is the next generation that are teenagers and younger.